Uh, yes, class. So let's start with the revision. Uh, I'll shift the timing a bit earlier for tomorrow's class and the classes that are coming. And let us quickly complete the revision of electrostatics. So electrostatics with current electricity, let us practice some important questions of it. So that revision will also be done and important questions also you will get to know. So we have completed magnetics in the last class. Arif, you were absent in the last class. You had asked me to start with magnetics and you were absent. So we had done some questions. Just have a look at those yes. questions. Okay, Tarif. Yes, miss. Okay. Uh, so I'm doing the first three lessons which are left, electrostatics uh, and electric potential and current electricity. These lessons I'm revising today in today's class. Let's see if we are able to complete the entire. Then we'll decide it for tomorrow. I'm writing the first question. Then we'll discuss. Whatever answers you're getting, write it in the chat column.
yes class answers a pendulum of mass 80 mg carries a charge of 2 into 10 to the power minus 8 is at rest in a horizontal uniform electric field of 2 into 10 to the power 4 volt per meter find the tension in the thread of the pendulum and the angle it makes with the vertical see um, if this is the rigid end fixed this is the horizontal this is making some angle theta with the horizontal at this point the tension that is going is t so uh, due to alternate angles this will also be theta so this will become t cos theta this becomes t sin theta uh, no this one will become t sin theta perpendicular one this becomes t sin theta downwards will be mg and c uh, electric force will be acting outwards that is qe so what all things we have t sin theta is equal to qe t cos theta is equal to mg so tan theta that is t sin theta by t cos theta this will be equal to qe by mg right t sin theta by t cos theta will give you tan theta so this way you have to calculate tension from entire this is equal to c sin theta sin theta uh, tension tension gets cancelled and just tan theta is left calculate theta get the tension from any of the parts which is left understood only you had to solve this Quickly write it down. Some more questions. Let us practice one or two questions from this lesson. Then we'll go on to the second one.
a positive charge of 17.7 microcoulomb is placed at the center of a hollow sphere of radius 0 0.5 meter. You have to calculate the flux density th through the surface. See, flux density. What is the meaning of flux density? Flux density means flux per unit area. So this is flux charge by epsilon naught permittivity. So this is 7.7 .7 charges 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb. Uh, the epsilon naught is 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12. So this will be 2 into 10 to the power 6 newton meter square per coulomb. Now when it is asking us flux density that we have to calculate, this is not just simple flux that we have to calculate. For the formula of flux density, we take the total flux per unit area. Total flux is 2 into 10 to the power 6. Since the radius is given, we know the formula is 4 pi into 0 0.5 whole square. This you can solve and let me know question you have written. The next now I'll be just pasting up the question because this uh, wastes a lot of time. So I'll just write down the question. You write down the solution. Then I'll discuss it. First, write down the solution. The surface area of a circle is, we are, we are writing the surface area of a sphere. Surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r square. And its volume is 4 by 3 pi r cube. 2 pi r square is the circumference. Uh, it's nothing. 2 pi r square is nothing. Pi r square is there as the area of a circle. Okay.
yes class see this is that this figure shows a cylindrical gaussian surface for infinitely long straight wire of uniform linear charge density it says that for which surface is the electric flux zero yes out of all the surface for which surface is it zero this is one this is second and this is third so out of these which one is zero yes answer this you must be knowing already where is 90 degree being made at which surface electric field is perpendicular so at which surface see electric field is perpendicular electric field is upwards so if it is the second surface both will be parallel end cap that is zero degree but if electric field is upwards only these two direction can form 90 degree so for the answer for the first is uh, third and first these two over which surface electric field is zero see electric field cannot be zero because electric field is throughout so no surface over which surface electric field is constant so we know electric field is present in the second surface so over this curved surface electric field is constant over which surface electric field does change means it's it's not constant uh, at the ends because at the ends we know see that means first and third reason is that we know electric field decreases with increase in distance. So this is how it's, it was a very easy question. This is how you have to answer it. I hope question you have written. Just quickly write down the solution.
uh, this says that electric field in this figure is directed along plus x positive x axis this way and it's given 5ax plus 2b taking mm -hmm. a as 10 b as 5 newton per coulomb you have to calculate the electric flux through the cube and the net charge enclosed within the cube now see when we are talking about <laughs> electric field along uh, let's say this m when you are talking about this m this one so it is given as 5 a x plus 2 b electric field is given so when you will substitute 5 a a is given as 10 so at this point for m m is there between z and y axis m is there between y and z axis so x will be 0 right plus 2 into b is 5 so this term becomes 0 this is just 10 newton per coulomb now, uh, when you are calculating the flux, when you are calculating the flux, so flux is uh, electric field into area into cos theta. So cos theta is 180 degree because electric field is there along positive x-axis. So when we are talking about here, this is n cap. So this will become, angle will become 180 degree. So this is electric field is 10 uh, L square, 0 0.1 into 0 0.1, 0 0.1 square into cos 180 degree. So phi m is equal to minus 0 0.1 Newton meter square per coulomb. This is electric field through this M1. Let's calculate the same thing for N. If you calculate the same thing for N, En. So similarly, En will be 5Ax plus 2B. That's present in the question. 5 into 10 into X. Now X is the length. That is 0 0.1 plus 2 into 5. So this time this is 15 Newton per Coulomb. When we are calculating the flux, this will be electric field through N. L square into cos now theta will be 0 degree because both are in the same direction. So 5, 15 into 0 0.1 whole square into cos 0 degree. That is simply 0 0.15 Newton meter square per coulomb. Right. So when we are calculating the net flux, that will be flux through M plus flux through N. So minus 0 0.1 plus 0 0.15, this will give you 0 0.05 Newton meter square per coulomb, right? And if you know the flux, second part is saying calculate the charge. For the charge, this will be epsilon naught into the net flux. That is uh, 8.85 into 10 to the power minus 12 into this net flux. Uh, this you can calculate further and get the answer. Answer will be in Coulomb. Whatever answer will be in Coulomb. Write it down.
See, this is that three point charges of one coulomb, two coulomb, three coulomb are placed at the corners of equilateral triangle. See, final energy or initial energy. Uh, all right. Okay, then you can leave for today. Tomorrow we'll continue, but not at the same time. We